This is Aaron Wayne, and thank you so much for joining. Today we'll be looking at the V-Storm series by iStar USA. As a server technician, like yourself, um, there are many factors you consider uh, into purchase a product uh, like this. Of course, there's the cost of the product itself, the cost of maintenance, and also its functionalities and services of the company that uh, provides this product. Well, today we'll be looking at the V-Storm series, particularly the V2M8SA, and uh, where we'll sh uh, demonstrate some of the points that's already highlighted on our, our website, uh, www.isrusa.com, but also some of the features and highlights that you might not have seen uh, that we would like to show you through this video. I'd like to thank our friends at uh, Clay Tech by iStar USA for renting us the uh, WJ rack to place our beautiful B2 M8 server chassis. Um, I would like to first start talk about the hot swaps. Uh, there are a total of eight hot swap bays on this server chassis. And of course, each bay comes in its own tray. So if uh, you need anything, um, you can just pull out the tray with the hot swap and you can uh, replace the, the hard drive if it fails. And we can see that these are aluminum, aluminum handles um, and aluminum tray so for better heat dissipation. These handles come in different colors. I start standard colors are red, blue, black, and silver. But of course, as you see here, here's orange. So if you do need any customized color, you can come ask us and we can surely find the color that you like. Over here you see are the, the easy handles for two U chassis. Of course, we also have different handle options, including the comfort handle. Here we have the slim floppy drive, the slim CD drive, the mute button, the hard drive lights, the fan light failure lights, and of course the power on button. Over here we also have two Ethernet LAN inputs, or usually it's in the back, but we put it in the front for your convenience. Of course, here's the two USB and two FireWire. This is a standard 27 inch chassis, and on the side, uh, there are holes here for you to install the rails. Um, the rails we talked about are the TC rails uh, from last month. You mount these on uh, and put them in uh, any standard size, uh, 1,000 millimeter or uh, nine, uh, 800 millimeter depth chassis, and you should be good and ready to go. Or if you want, uh, you can put them on a bracket uh, where you can mount them uh, right onto the cabinet itself. Here you can fit a standard size 2U form factor power supply. Uh, we, of course, we recommend the iStar Redundant Series. We offer that in 500, 550, 600, and also 700 power wattages. Of course, you can go with a FSP 650 and a P2G 6510. It should all work. Here we have the uh, input and output. It's pretty standard. Fits a uh, extended ATX, ATX, and MATX motherboard. Over here, we have the flex handle. Uh, it's designed so that you get a better grasp of the entire chassis. And here we have the thumb screws for uh, easy remo removal of the top. Over here, we have three expansion slots for your PCI cards. Of course, we recommend uh, getting a low profile uh, riser card, uh, like a CMB. Now, let's take a deeper look at this chassis. It's made with heavy duty steel. And uh, from the outside, we just saw the slim drive, and this is how it looks like from the inside. Floppy CD. Here we have the standard 3.5 inch uh, hard drive size. We can put an uh, internal hard drive in here and keep a operation system running. In the back plane, uh, it supports the multi-lane SAS or multi-lane SATA. There's four uh, Molex connectors for the power. Uh, it will power the entire uh, eight hot swap base in front. Over here we have one, two, three, four um, fan slots, and these are 80 millimeter fans. 
and um, these are hot swap fans. So what you don't know before is that you can just pull this fan when the fan fill light goes on. You find out which one is bad. You pull it out. You swap out the fan. Suggest maybe a Sanyo fan. Uh, pop it back in. Just like that. If you have a, if you have a power supply, it will uh, rest right in here in this slot and where you can have uh, over here your motherboard and of course the um, your, your PCI cards. Right here is a support bay to hold down those cards or the riser card so um, in case of any movement um, these cards will stay in place. There's also ventilation holes on the side of the chassis as well as the back so to prevent uh, any overheating on the side and the back. And to wrap up, we talked about the V2 MA model today uh, as part of the V-Storm series. Of course, that's not the only model. We also have the 3U, the 4U, the 2U we talked about at 8 hot swap bays, the 3 at 16. We have also the 4U at 20. This one is at 24. Of course, there's a lot more. If you go to www.istarusa.com, you'll see that there's a 5U and 6U and so on. There's so many options. Again, with iStar USA, it's not just JBOD. It's JBOD with a lot of colors. So thank you for tuning in today, and I hope to see you soon. Please, contact us at www.istarusa.com. Thank you.